ओके सो आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ कंसर्न इज आइसोमेरिज्म नाउ व्हाट इज आइसोमेरिज्म बिफोर गोइंग इन टू दैट लेट अस सी दिस कंपाउंड Which is butane. Now, what if I take this carbon from the chain and put it over over this carbon? What will it become? See, the skeleton of the carbon chain will become like this. and now if you add the hydrogens this needs three hydrogens since it has one bond this also needs three hydrogens this also needs three hydrogens and this since it has three bonds it needs only one hydrogen so what is the formula of butane c4h10 now look at the formula of this compound there are four carbon so it's c4 and there are 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1 that is again 10 hydrogen so you see the two formulas are same but is the compound same no this is a straight chain this has you call it a branching at one of the carbons so these compounds are not the same so such compounds who have the same you should say same molecular formulas but different structures or structural formulas or structural orientation in space such compounds i mean such pairs or whatever how whatever uh, many compounds are there they are called isomers or rather these are called structural isomers isomers is a more broad um you can say broad topic this is just one form of isomerism which is called structural isomerism and this property which this compound butane exhibits is called isomerism basically isomerism is concerned with same molecular formulas but different structures this is isomers but these two are structural isomers now there are more types of isomerism uh we'll go into that later we don't have much of isomerism apart from structural isomerism but let us see one more thing now we have this compound pentane 
and its formula is C5H12. Now like butane, we can also take this end, I mean the C on the end of the chain and put it over here. If we put it over here, you, you see we get the same compound like this and putting this C over here makes no difference because it's still a straight chain even though it's not straight over here but still this has no branches so we have to take this carbon and put it over here so what will this form 4 carbons and the 5th carbon now you put the hydrogens 3 over here 3 over here only 1 over here 2 over here and again 3 over here if you count the hydrogens 4 plus 3 7 plus 2 9 plus 2 11 plus 1 12 so again it's C5 H12 so these also have the same I should write it over here same molecular formula but different structures so this you can call this as an isomer of pentane or you can call these both as isomers of each other you see in pentane if you take this carbon and put it on this carbon see we were having a compound let me remove all the hydrogens so it becomes clear we had this compound this skeleton now if we put this carbon over here do you think it will give a different compound see this compound if you just flip it you'll see it will give this compound I mean if you just see this compound from the other side you'll see this compound so these two are not isomers they are the same compound these two are isomers because this has a branching and this is a straight chain but these two are branched but they are I mean if you look at one of them you'll you, if you look at one of them from the opposite side you'll get the other so basically they are the same compound so but we have another isomer of pentane it's like you take this carbon from this end of the chain and put it on the same carbon where you had put that carbon we had taken this carbon out and put it over here now we take this carbon out and put it over here you'll see again that this you can see directly this carbon has all four valencies satisfied this carbon needs three this carbon needs three this carbon needs three this carbon needs three so three into four twelve so again it's c5 h12 
So this is a different structure from these two. But still its formula coincides with the other two formulas. So this is also an isomer of pentane. So all these three compounds are isomers of each other.